In this exercise, we are going to be looking at the XIC and the XIO instructions. Make sure the cursor is on the right hand side in the program panel and add a new rung. Left click on new rung, hold and drag toward rung 000. When the green box appears, release. Next, insert the OTE instruction. Place the cursor on the OTE instruction, left click, hold and drag to the right side of the rung. When green, release. Add a XIC instruction. Examine F close. Go look for a one. Place the cursor on the XIC, left click, hold and drag. When the green box appears, release. Go to the output data table, double click to open. Left click on the icon, click on top. Park the data table somewhere on the right under the OTE instruction. Minimize. Go back to the data table and this time we are going to use a binary file. The binary files are status bits only. Double click on binary to open. Park on top by clicking the icon on the upper left and then click on top. Minimize and adjust. Place your cursor on the first bit of the first word. Left click, hold, and drag to the question mark of the XIC instruction. When the box turns green, release. A little more housekeeping. Right click on the program panel. Click on properties. Under properties, go to address display. Looking at the binary display mode, it reveals that the radio button that is activated shows only the bit. Binary file number 3, bit 0. Click on the radio button for word and bit, and then click apply. The address now displays binary file number 3, colon, word 0, bit 0. Default only shows the bit, so let's go back to default. Select the radio button for bit, click apply, and click OK. In the data table, bits are displayed in numerical sequence. Example, 0, 1, 2, 3, 15, 16, so on. If you wanted to use bit 17, you would just click, hold, and drag to the instruction. For this exercise, we need to use bit 0. Go back and replace bit 17 with bit 0. In the output data table, assign the OTE output to word 0, bit 0. Click on the bit, hold, and drag to the OTE. When green, release. Go to the margin and run 0. Right click and verify. Add another rung and another OTE instruction. and assign the address output word 0 bit position 1. Left click, drag, when green, release. In rung 0, 
B30 is an XIC. Examine F close. Go look for a 1. In rung 1, B30 is now going to be used as a XIO instruction. Go look for a 0. Click on the XIO instruction. Drag and release when the box is green on rung 1. A couple of ways to enter the address. One way is to click, hold, drag the bit from the data table to the instruction and release. It now reflects the same address as the XIC in rung 0. To demonstrate another way, click the undo arrow. Put the cursor on the bit of the XIC instruction in rung 00, zero click, hold, and drag. Doing so transfers the information to that memory location. If you want to move the whole instruction, place the cursor in the crosshairs of the XIC. Click, hold, and drag to the new location. To go back to where we were, use the undo key and cut the instruction on rung 1. Verify the rungs. Save, download, go online, run. In rung 000, the XIC is looking for a 1 to be on. The data table shows a 0, therefore the XIC is false. In rung 1, the XIO is looking for a 0, an off condition. The data has a 0 and the bit is off, therefore it satisfies the condition for the OTE and the OTE will be on. Toggle bit B30 and a 1 now makes the XIC in rung 0 true, turning it on. The OTE bit 0 is satisfied and the output is on. A 1 in the data table is preventing the XIO in rung 1 from being true, therefore bit 1 is off. It's the same bit, but opposite results. You can't be on and you can't be off at the same time. Toggle the bit B30 several times to thoroughly understand the difference between an XIC and an XIO. XIC, examine if close, go look for one. XIO, examine if off, go look for a zero. In the next exercise, we will apply these instructions and create a stop-start circuit. Go offline and delete the rungs.